Hello everybody, back here again with another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 23rd, and today was a beautiful day outside. Had some rain, had some wind, but temperatures were nice and cool. It got warm enough you could be out without a coat, um, but not too bad. They're calling for it to keep getting a little on that colder, weird stuff. They're um, just, I don't know, the weather is so weird around here, it really is. We had some beautiful days, we had some 80 degree days and now we're back in there with lows in the, the low 30s so and it's just gonna keep going up and down it's kind of a weird ass time of year for us and who the hell knows but overall the day was just a really nice time i got up this morning um, got a few things done nothing really major here on the house here headed out and finished up a little bit of stuff need to be done with the skid steer i could have had it all done yesterday i just basically chose not to i guess i kind of went ahead and uh, thought i'd wrap it up today I had to end up moving a few more things here in the front, not too much. Went out back, there was an old tractor tire, more like an end loader tire, great big flat, super tall tire that had been made a planter, I'm gonna guess at least, crap, probably 30 years ago or better. I'm not sure how long it's been there. It's been there for a long, long time. Hell, maybe 50 years, I don't know. But I went ahead, I hit it a couple times with like some four-wheel drive vehicles I had over the years. Um, one time I hit it with a full-size Bronco and I was doing probably about 15 mile an hour to try and break it loose because it had tree roots and stuff going down through it. And it bounced off like it was nothing. I mean, it might as well have been a ball paint hammer and a propane tank. I mean, it was like absolutely nothing there. So I took the kids zero to it. It was able, took me a couple tries, was able to pop it up, get it broke loose. And my original plan was to knock all the dirt and stuff out of it. I thought, screw it, I ain't that big a deal. Pushed it off into the ditch. We have a washout area there. So I pushed it down in there. Hopefully that's gonna keep it from eroding a lot more. I also have an old shed um, that was here I got rid of a long time ago and had a concrete floor poured in it after the building was built. So I tore the shed down, the concrete was still there, but it was junk concrete, unfortunately. So I was trying to try and pick it up. There's a bunch of like where they used to throw old bricks and rocks and debris and crack that inside the bottom of it and they top filled with concrete. And why they didn't just dig the hole shallower, I don't know, but though I did and it didn't hold up. It crumbled all apart in pieces. Um, I'm not sure if it was poured in four pieces or if they cut it after they poured it or if they car were between it, I don't know what it was. But there was four main chunks when I went to pick it up and it crumbled into, I mean, way smaller pieces than what I ever thought. I originally kind of thought about using that. My goal was actually move that up front as parking pads to park my car on or whatever and there was no way of saving it. That was something even my ex had wanted to do um, with them and it was just, it never, when it came up and like I said, it popped out of there in like the tiniest little chunk. So got that all pushed down the ditch also in that whole area. Um, had a few low spots in the um, yard next here and the north house. So I went ahead and kind of backfilled a few of those. The holes I poured the, uh, pulled the, the clotheslines, I, I keep saying fence posts, or clotheslines out. Those holes were about five feet deep, so deep it was ridiculous. Went ahead and backfilled those best I could. It's gonna take a while, it's gonna keep selling them there, not a big deal. I do need to order probably 20 ton of dirt to do a lot of those stuff. I need to order probably 10 ton of rock to finish up I got right now um, on, the, on the lower side of fundage. So we're gonna go ahead and leave it just like it sets right now and then work from there and figure out what I need as I can get a few more bucks rolling in. So that all done, took the uh, skid steer back, filled the tank up, cost me less than 30 bucks in fuel. Um, so can't beat that. Um, cost me probably that much in the process of driving down there and back with the van by the time you figure hauling the trailer and all that kind of stuff. And I made a handful of trips. I kind of felt like I was out of working um, with him last few weekends off and on here and there, redoing the barn, tearing it down fixing some stuff, cleaning up some barn lots, that kind of thing, handful of hours. That was kind of my rental fee I hank on it. I'd, I'm gonna go down and help him some more, no big deal. But it's just, that's kind of, I hank work kind of wrapped up out there. So that worked out well. Um, got that all done, got back. I went and washed it too. I was not really dirty when I got it, but I figured what the hell, it's in town, it's on the trigger, I need to a car wash. I might as well stop in there and drop five bucks and coins in it and then get that thing cleaned up. So went ahead and did that too, ran it back down. Um, all went well and loaded it just fine. My ramp is bent. The skid steer is too heavy for a ramp, so it did bend my ramp. I thought I had it bent back good enough, and then of course unloading it, bent the ramp, it didn't go in the right, so I gotta find some of the big heavy duty press, something like that, and get it straightened back out. And I need to weld a little bit more support on it somewhere. So next time I use a skid steer, I won't have that same situation happening. So 
got that all done, um, came back in town. I got in a call earlier from my mom, a lady where she works, who needed a car and wanted to come over and look at my Taurus uh, after work. So I went ahead and got it all. I didn't really clean it up really much. I mean, it's not really filthy. It's just, if I was taking it to somebody who was going to look at buying it, I would have actually vacuumed it out better again. I would have arm rolled it up and that kind of stuff. But I didn't really have time with anything else I was doing. Came by. Um, I was waiting for them after work. They didn't hear from and hear from them. I'd about 24 minutes after they're normally home, um, I said hell with it, took off running, left a message, uh, left the keys on my mom's freezer saying, hey, here's the key. If she wants to take it for a drive, whatever, just please go with her. Um, don't know the person, never met her in my life. Didn't want somebody driving around my car that I've never heard or seen or met before. So went ahead. Um, mom actually driving it. So I guess the woman, I was kind of a little bit weird thing where she didn't drive it. But she thought she wanted it, but she had like no money. It's one of those things. She's been going through a rough patch in her life kind of thing and that. But went ahead and convinced her to come look at my Saturn instead, which is a much better car. Car that I don't care as much about because it's a stick shift and... If I ever need to like let mom borrow something because her car breaks down, she can't drive stick. So that right there makes more sense. Plus, um, just a lot of reasons. I kind of like the Taurus better than the, um, the Saturn. Saturn is a much nicer car, much more dependable. I, I, a Saturn is a much better car. I just personally don't care for it as much. So I went ahead and made a deal. Um, she's going to hopefully get the car tomorrow. Went out and um, bought a new battery fork. So the battery is kind of iffy on it. Bought a new battery to get that thrown in the morning. I'll probably go ahead and vacuum it out, arm roll it down real quick, and then give her the car tomorrow. So that all goes as well as planned. I'm really hoping. Um, it'd be kind of nice to not have it sitting around, but it'd be nice to have had a $1,500 check also. But I'm not getting that. But at least I'm getting the car out of here. It's less moving stuff around, less to worry about. Now I got to do is get rid of that damn Merc. So hopefully um, I'll get that done. I've got a race coming up Sunday. Um, going to Moyne possibly Friday to get bibs and stuff, drop off a bike needs repaired with my buddy, got to eat and stuff, and then going back up Saturday to hang out with the, one of the people I've been training how to run, uh, hit the expo with them, kind of show them what all's going on, that whole thing, go out to grab some to eat, and we're going to actually spend the night up in Des Moines, then hit the race Sunday morning, and then basically run my butt off for a couple hours, and then grab myself a whole bunch of cookies, grab myself some more food, and head my ass on home, so... That's pretty much all we've got for right now. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.